Sardinas, the point guard, Trey Anderson, and DJ Satius, a freshman out of Portugal. Tim Miles, the head coach at San Jose State. CSU will have Patrick Cartier jump it up with Tibet Gorner. And the opening tip is controlled by San Jose State in black. Stevens, Neek Clifford, Josiah Strong, and Joel Scott round out the starting five for Nico Medved in his sixth season at Colorado State University. Anderson, 15-footer opening possession, and Joel Scott, the transfer from Black Hill State, snatches the rebound. Our officials today, Vern Harris, Randy Richardson, Scott Brown, here at the Thomas and Mack in Las Vegas. Nate Kreckman, Terrence Ogilby with you here on the Mountain West Network for game number two of the 2024 tournament. We'll see right away Patrick Cartier, a terrific footwork in the post. He's not the most athletic guy, but he does it on the floor, constantly keeping you off balance with a plethora of drop steps and up and under moves. Cardenas, the composure and the floater. It's kind of what he does, right? He's not going to blow you away with amazing quickness, but he's going to use your leverage against you. Cardenas, a traditional Spanish point guard in that sense. He's going to pressure the basketball. He's going to take his time on the offensive end of the floor. 13 points, five and a half assists a game this season for Cardenas. Scott gets to the rim. The curl. And he got hit on the arm as he went up. Joel Scott, D2 Player of the Year at Black Hills State and Spearfish, South Dakota last year. His first season at CSU. Colorado native, Monument, Colorado, down near the Air Force Academy. Brad transferred, 12 and a half points, six rebounds and a block, average per game. Scott has been a wonderful find out of the portal for Nico Medved to be able to pair with Isaiah Stevens. Really solid, big, strong, not the most explosive athlete, but comes from a basketball family. Three brothers, and all four of the brothers played Division I basketball. Something to be said there. I got to go take tips from his parents. Empty trip for Scott. Cartier out on Cardenas. Flips it over to Amy. Three on the way. Too strong. And Neek Clifford chases it down on the weak side. Clifford, the transfer from Colorado, named third team All Mountain West yesterday. He got downhill there, and he got hit. He'll go to the line now. Neek Clifford from Colorado Springs. First year at CSU after three years in Boulder. Leading rebounder on this team. Top 10 in the Mountain West, and he's really played well down the stretch. Scored 15 points at Air Force last weekend. It's amazing what a change of scenery will do for a talented young player. I like that inbound set. Oh, watch your head. Joel Scott, the tip dunk off the Stevens miss. CSU's on the board. I love that baseline out of bounds set. Lob over the top, quick pin in for Stevens to get a look. Better box out that weak side. Driving a kick. Anderson's three is off the mark. Cartier playing with the face shield. Suffered a broken nose. Late in the year, had surgery on a Monday, played that Saturday. Stevens over to Cartier, flips it back up top for Strong. Isaiah Stevens never rushed. Kicks it over. That's a three-pointer on the way, taken and missed by Strong. Amy's going to have to be good, but he loves this free throw line jump shot. He gets there continuously. That's where he gets the bulk of his points, whether it's coming off screens, creating for himself. You cannot leave him at 15 feet because he's as automatic as automatic gets. Coming off a 20-point game last Wednesday against Utah State. These two teams matched up once in the regular season. That was... February 9th in Fort Collins. And it was a Colorado State win. That's San Jose State ball. Off the foot of Strong. Amy really bringing the intensity. You need activity on the ball to disrupt Colorado State's offense. And quite frankly, when it's flowing, it is so difficult to defend. You take away passing angles by really stepping up your pressure guarding the rock.
Stevens now out on Amy, defending the best scorer for this San Jose State team. Amy lost his footing. Cardenas, the shot clock winding down. CSU playing with pace. Clifford just too strong. I, I don't like that. You saw three bodies in front of you. Your teammate there on your spot as Cardenas steps out of bounds. Uh, Colorado State playing with good pace. You have to make good decisions while playing that good pace or it's all for naught. See the defense in front of you and react accordingly. It, it, we were alluding to Neat Clifford. It, it's amazing what a change of scenery will do. It transfers from Colorado, wasn't a big point scorer, comes here to Colorado State and has been an excellent find for this Rams team. A terrific defender and quality rebounder. Does a lot for this squad. Stevens couldn't get it to Clifford that time. Amy on the run. It was swiped away by Stevens. And it's CSU ball with a timeout on the floor. Slow start for both sides. San Jose State by two here in the dunk by Joel Scott. Colorado State has never won a Mountain West regular season title. Only one tournament championship. That was all the way back in 2003, though they were the sixth seed that year when they got it done. Wild to think, here's Colorado State. T.O., a team that spent most of the year in the top 25. And the ball goes out of bounds, and it's turned over there by CSU. But back to that thought, Colorado State spent most of the year ranked. Here they are playing in day one, a first-round game of the Mountain West tournament as a number seven seed. The depth of this conference, unbelievable, unbelievable that CSU is in this spot. Certainly is, and CSU is going to have to wake up a little bit. San Jose, San Jose State's here to play. Cardenas, nice move to the middle. I, I think you're right, though. It speaks to the depth of this league and, and how many quality teams there have been. Oh, what a move. You want to talk about getting downhill in a hurry? Right down the strip goes Isaiah Stevens. Not only is does he have elite quickness, but he plays with such terrific angles. He gets around that ball screen. He goes straight to the cuff. There's no lingering around the perimeter. He attacks with such efficiency. Gordner catch and shoot three from Cardenas. Deflected into the hands of Clifford. Here goes Stevens. Probing, kicking, strong for three. Rims off Cardenas the rebound. Five quad one wins for Colorado State. And some extremely bad luck losses this year on the resume. Blew an 11-point lead in the last minute against Wyoming. Lost on a heave by Jared Lucas from wow. half court at home against Nevada. Nick Clifford went to get that one, didn't he? I mean, T.O., if those two games go differently, CSU is an absolute lock. They may already be. Interior passing. They get it to Scott, and he goes up and gets fouled. Joel Scott will go to the line. My man's like a scarecrow in the post with birds just hanging all over him. He's so strong physically. This is Joel Scott. I mean, my goodness, if you're able to carve up that much space. And what I will say about Colorado State's big man, they're, they're not the most athletic guys, but both Scott and Cartier, they, they do their early work better than anybody else in the Mountain West as far as getting deep post position, understanding when to call for the basketball. Uh, Cartier plus Scott together playing high-low actions is a deadly combination. Cartier at six foot eight, Scott at six foot seven. What they lack in height, they make up for in physicality and skill. See Rashawn Bemba checking into this game. Uh, he's kind of the next ultra skilled guy for Nico Medved in Colorado State. This is a guy who played in Austria's top league and was getting minutes against grown men. He comes here. And he's also playing against grown men, ironically enough, with Cartier and Scott, who are both 23 years old or older. Bemba scored a season high 13 against San Jose State when they matched up back in February. Under 14 minutes now, first half. Great Arnie pass. Is cut off by Lake, but he got it to Amy on the cut who lays it in. Wow. How about the skill level 
for Cardenas. Left hand off the bounce. Terrific feed. Neat Clifford from Joe Palmer, who just checked into the game. Bit too strong on that one. Gorner, good activity from San Jose State. And the Spartans just have a little bit extra jump here in this one in the early going over CSU. They're in a little bit of a different boat. It's win or go home for the Spartans. And they're playing like it. Incredible place to start this game. Bambit gives a screen to wow. Stevens. Whips to the corner. Uh -oh. Clifford elevates and hammers it. He can do that. One of the best dunkers in the West, Neat Clifford. Amy off the curl, got fouled by Clifford, and one. Got it to fall, he goes to the corner and flexes to the crowd. He's big, he's strong, he's physical. What a move. Coming off a of curl, they're setting a lot of off-ball screens for him. If you're guarding Myron Amy Jr., you have to be alert for a full 40 because he's been playing so well as of late. Over the last three games, 14 points, eight boards, almost four assists, making a massive impact. Completes the three-point play. Biggest lead of the game is five points now for San Jose State. Coached by former CSU head man Tim Miles. Did five years in Fort Collins, seven years at Nebraska. And Nico Medved, head coach for CSU, was on Miles' staff at Colorado State. And he now leads the CSU team coming in at 22 and 9. Bemba catches underneath, falls away. Palmer got a hand on it, out of bounds. Rams will inbound from underneath their own basket. You know, there's a lot of teams in college basketball, Nate, that whenever that happens and you get to that point, the offense just goes aw awry. With Colorado State, they have enough older players and veteran pieces to where they can still find something out of the half court. Good look on the inbounds. Palmer goes up, gets the rebound, and a second chance opportunity. The fan favorite Joe Palmer open in the corner. Got it. Head band Joe bringing the energy that the, Ram that the Rams needed so desperately to open up this game. They had a headband Joe Knight at Moby Arena this year. They better have. He said he was only half committed to the headband look, and then he realized that was how his grandma found him on the floor when she watched the games on TV. And so he's made it his trademark. Big there's, time three right there. It's a two-point game. If there's not a headband Joe bobblehead by Thursday, I'm disappointed. Gardenas. Can't finish inside the lane. Stevens cut off by Davis. Over to Lake. Bemba spins baseline. Here comes the double. San Jose State doing a terrific job flooding to the basketball and playing in help. Everything has been difficult. Stevens off the bounce. Hey, even so... If you're Tim Miles in the Spartans, that's one you live with. Tough, contested two over high hands. Uh, great defensive possessions. Sometimes great offense is just better than great defense. Tied back up at 13. I'd say we're even, Stevens. Davis. Ooh. <laughs> I like this aggressiveness by the Spartans. But Colorado State trying to crawl back in it. We're tied up. But Isaiah Stevens so... He certainly does. And whenever he's coming off ball screens, you have to vary up coverages and keep him thinking. Now, whenever you've been in college, as long as Stevens has, you know how to react to everything. But it's that half second that you try to make him apprehensive offensively that can hopefully give your teammates time enough to either get back to shooters or maintain their positioning on defense. Out of the timeout, Sacious back now for San Jose State. Cartier back for CSU, plus Tavy Jackson into the game for the first time, the Las Vegas native. Stevens was fouled in the backcourt. Foul was called on Tibet Gorner. Tim Miles has opinions about that whistle. Hey, one thing that Tim Miles does have 
Colts' opinions. One of the all-around good guys in college basketball. Really good last season. This year, there's been some bumps in the road as far as injuries are concerned, but he's got them playing at a high level right now. Boy, Stevens got it from Jackson, had it halfway down. It's like a wrecking ball. And there you go. It's like a wrecking ball. <laughs> Davis, the sprinter, runs an 11.200. Played for Great Britain in the FIBA U18 European Championships. Shot out of a cannon. He doesn't shift up or shift down. He's straight to fifth. My man Latrell Davis, fast, bruising, and physical on that drive. Jackson wow. to the rim in the finish. He got downhill and laid it in. The Vegas native, Tavy Jackson, in his sophomore year. He's a highly recruited guy coming out of high school. Shows Colorado State over Utah. Wyoming, who we just saw in last game. I mean, he's a guy who has some skill scoring the basketball. Amy got the DHO from Gorner, but he got called for the offensive foul after the handoff. And one thing you'll see right now about San Jose State in the half court, they are getting sped up a little bit. You want to play with pace. However, when you're running your offense, you need to be diligent in your cuts because Nico Medved and the Rams staff, such a terrific staff as far as preparation is concerned, you have to do the little things right. You can't speed through them against this Colorado State defense. Scott gets doubled. They beat the weak side rotation. Stevens to Cartier, and he drops it in. My goodness. Three passes around the perimeter, an attack, and help side's going to be late whenever you move the basketball in that fashion. Second assist for Stevens. Mountain West all-time leader in that statistical category. Amy put it on the floor and ran right into Jackson. That's on TV Jackson. You got to appreciate TV Jackson trying to be physical on the defensive end of the floor, but a little too much so. The freshman Kyan Evans in now. And Nico Medved will give Isaiah Stevens what I'm sure will be a brief rest. What a perfect situation for Kyan Evans to come into. You're playing behind one of the best point guards in the country. And, and this is a guy who can play. He was Missouri Gatorade Player of the Year last season. There's a man that can play. Alvaro Cardenas with a tough finish at the rim. Jackson got to the baseline, and he was fouled on the floor by Davis. Back to Evans. I mean, he's a guy that understands how to play, but Cardenas, he knows how to play too. Little handoff action, gets his hip on the defense. What touch, high off the glass. I thought Cartier got away with a travel right there. Yeah, may have shoveled the feet a bit, but he got position right under the cup and put it in. Your San Jose State, you have to love how this game's going here early. Able to create some looks, playing solid defensively. This man right here, though, Amy's going to have to do some more of this. Spin move, the floater, and the foul. <laughs> MJ Amy feeling it. Feeling it and telling you about it. Look at this. A little right to left, spin up and over. Look at the reaction. He's feeling himself. Who can stop him? Nobody, he says. Amy's already up to nine points. So strong physically. I think that's the one thing that stands out about Amy. I mean, really put together. And defenders just bounce off of him. And we have seen an inspired effort out of San Jose State here in this opening half. A little 1-3-1 action for San Jose State trying to cause a turnover. It just mix up the flow and rhythm of Colorado State. And they throw that at him with Evans out there running the point instead of Stevens. Good ball movement. Strong corner three. Clifford had a hand on it, but Cardenas goes to the floor and flips it ahead to Amy. Goes right at Cartier, spins, push shot. 
There's a delicate balance of letting guys go and understanding when to pull that ball out. But Amy's been playing so well lately. He's one you're willing to live with the risk. Who goes gets that steal? Who else but Cardenas? Davis misses the layup that time. CSU in transition. Clifford can't knock it down. CSU just one of eight from behind the arc. And you see immediately Tim Miles telling his point guard, slow it down. Let's get in our offense. Let's get a quality possession. Colorado State, 7 of 11 from two-point range. They have not been able to get going behind the arc. Cardenas catching fire three in the corner. You got to love it. How about Amy? What a move. He comes off a handoff, gets downhill. Latrell Davis has been a speedster in transition, trying to get to the cup. Cardenas has set the offense up for this Spartans team. And then he's been the beneficiary of some of the rim attack stuff that Myron Amy's been able to generate. And now this 1-3-1, one, one, watch out. Stevens trying to go upstairs for Scott. He's able to corral it and lay it in on the reverse. Good Amy, job by Scott to stick with it. Absolutely, and Amy Jr. had a steal if he just committed to that steal. Nice play coming out of the timeout. Yeah, and not surprisingly, Stevens back out of the timeout. That's Davis in the corner. That's from Amy. Headband Joe pulls down the rebound on the weak side. Here goes Stevens into the paint. The drive and kick, and Strong will take it back out against this 1-3-1. Gorner out top for San Jose State. And the holes against the 1-3-1 are the short corners and the 45s. You're going to be able to find shots there. Stevens a little too strong on that floater. Two of five from the field here to start. And now Clifford's out on Cardenas. Chris, Christian Wise into the game. Cardenas got caught too far under the basket. Palmer, an open three from Stevens. That's two in this first half for Joe Palmer. Timeout, Tim Miles. A quick five points for Colorado State with 5-12 left in the half. And a great move by the point guard. Isaiah State has an excellent resume. Wins over Colorado and Washington of the Pac-12. They beat Creighton on a neutral court, which was their biggest non-conference victory of the year. Five quad one wins for Colorado State. The resume is sound. And we had a collision, and Trey Anderson fell to the floor, and he's clutching that left leg. Uh, but certainly moving gingerly. That's one of those, it hurts initially. In about 10 minutes, it's still going to be sore, but he's going to be able to play right through it, hopefully, walking off on his own power. I'd be out four to six weeks with that, but I have a feeling <laughs> Trey Anderson's tougher than me. I'm out for a week with a hangnail. Inside five minutes now. Opening half, second game of this Mountain West tournament. Out to Cardenas, top three, contested. Clifford goes and gets it, his sixth rebound. Stevens, step back, and Colorado State leads for the first time. 26, 25 with four and a half to go in the half. Just so unbothered with whoever's guarding him. And Cardenas played good defense, positionally staying in front, chest to ball. Doesn't matter, Stevens uh, just so relaxed when handling the basketball. Seven unanswered from Colorado State now. Feels like Colorado State's just kind of snapped into it, doesn't it? Sometimes it takes a minute to wake up early in Vegas. Shot clock violation, big time stop. Joe Palmer bangs his chest. Headband Joe switches out on the guard, and Nico Medved has to love that guy. Hey, look, not a big stats guy, an energy giver. EGBs. I was recruited by Shaka Smart. He is big on EGB's energy-giving behaviors, and Headband Joe gives that in spades. There it is again. Bemba steals it back for CSU. Got it over to Lake. 
The assist from Stevens. That's crazy about Isaiah Stevens. He saw where that play was going before he caught the basketball. He knew there was going to be an extra pass to the corner, but Lake attacks the rim, and he evaluates and processes that information before he even catches the basketball. Amy goes baseline. Good ball movement. Better defense. My goodness. Look at the communication, the switching. Bemba cuts off Amy. Wow. Clifford right in front. Open three, but he traveled. And San Jose State was pushed out of sorts on that position. 3-0-8. Remaining right now in this first half. CSU by three. Much better. And as a result, they're going to have the basketball and really generating some positive momentum heading into halftime. Yeah, really pushed San Jose State out of rhythm on that possession. CSU has their biggest lead at three right now. Rams a dead even 50% from the field in this first half. Stevens whips it inside. Bemba had position on Anderson. He just surveys the floor so well. And good job by Bemba rolling to the strong side, not letting the defender cut in front of him. Tibet Goriner has found no daylight whatsoever. Amy a pull up too strong and some of that ball movement has gone away for San Jose State Wow boy those whip passes just come out those are 99 mile an hour fastballs from Isaiah Stevens and, and you notice Colorado State they have their hands ready I, I mean they have played with him long enough at this point to where they just understand hey if I'm not ready it might it might come to me while I'm not looking Clifford gets to the cup <laughs> I love the patience. I love the pace. I love the athleticism. Nate Clifford's had a heck of a year. 13-0 run, Colorado State, stolen by Stevens. The lob, headband Joe catches it and puts it in off the window. Palmer's got eight in this first half. Call it six dimes now for Isaiah Stevens. 15-0 run. And ball went off Palmer's foot, and he got called for a blocking foul. I love the energy. I love the hustle to get over, but how about transition? Isaiah Stevens, eyes everywhere, terrific pass. Better finish. Headband Joe. He ain't going to dunk it, but he's going to make sure he gets two. The audacity of Joe Palmer saying, throw me that lob. Goes up. And puts it in. I mean, I would call for a lob. That wouldn't mean. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Palmer, the former D3 All-American. He has been a great find for Colorado State. One of the biggest things that Palmer talked about when he got to CSU was the attention to detail at this level sure. compared to what he had played at. And finally, Amy snaps that streak. First bucket in over five minutes for San Jose State. Under a minute to go now. In rhythm. That's a really good defensive possession by San Jose State. Uh, when Stevens is bringing the ball up the floor, he has to see bodies. He can't just see one guy in front of him or else you're toast because he's so quick off the bounce. Garrett Anderson in the game here for San Jose State. Cardenas got it outside. Wise, he'll take a three. Back iron, no good. Anderson tipped it out. Extra possession now for the Spartans. Get that ball out. Amy needs to touch this basketball. 12 seconds left on the clock. Crucial possession. Amy guarded by Lake. Floater off the window. Big buckets right there by MJ Amy. Right here at the end of this half. Stevens, he'll pull up. Likes that mid-range, doesn't go. And that brings us to the end of the half. Both teams playing extremely well. Colorado State took them a minute to get going. But on the other end, San Jose has to be thrilled with how things go. Colorado State traveling well um, for CSU.
a bit of a slow start, a 15-0 run late in the half. Got them the lead, up five here at the break. What have you liked from Colorado State's approach to this game so far today? I, I think over the first eight minutes, it took them a second to get going. And it was like a diesel truck. Once it got going, it started going quickly, especially on the defensive end of the floor. They're communicating well. And that bled in over to their offense with how they've been moving the basketball. And a swing, swing. We're going to get them an open shot. Oh, no. Nick Clifford decides not to. Clifford and Scott not on the same page. And a turnover there. CSU, 52% from the field in that first half. However, just 2 of 10 from behind the arc. This is not a great three-point shooting team for Colorado State. Under Nico Medved. Trey Anderson out to Gorner. Tibet Gorner has had no daylight all day. But if they're going to stay in this game, it's got to be Amy. There's one. Good look for Gorner, but the struggles continue. San Jose State just 10% from behind the arc in this game. Stevens lost it and just calmly jogs his way over and picks it up. You can't rush Isaiah Stevens. It's a handoff from Cartier. Clifford on the cut. Able to chase it down in the corner. Shot clock winding down. A turnaround. Left it short. Alvaro Cardenas. The rebound. Nine points. Six rebounds. Three assists. So far today for Cardenas. San Jose State the 10th seed in this tournament. Their only two Mountain West wins came over Air Force. Who is the 11th seed in this tournament. We'll see them coming up next here on the Mountain West Network against the sixth seed New Mexico already a lot of cherry and silver trickling into the Thomas and Mac Lobo fans always show out here at the pit right now it's San Jose State trying to cut into this CSU lead and Clifford went over the back and Clifford not happy with the call you can't play post defense with your upper body you play post defense with your feet quick feet disengage and then go around Anderson who's posting up really hard trying to look for that opportunity to get deep post position you can't just bully your way in there of course I say that and he bullies his way in there <laughs> left it short though Gardinas does the same and the third chance was the one for Alvaro Cardenas third shots a charm extra opportunities for San Jose State, they're going to need them. One possession game. Boy, Scott ran into a roadblock inside the paint. Hard collision with Anderson. And I think that was Gorin or uh, defending and then trying to go around the backside. The defense was good for the Spartans. They collapsed around the ball. Just got a little bit greedy at the last second, trying to go for the steal. Two on Gorner. Just over two minutes gone by. Half number two. The drive, the reverse. Come on. Strong move from Josiah. Josiah Strong in his second year at Colorado State, plus spent two years at Illinois State. Transfer, tough bucket there. And he reached in, but there was a hard collision underneath. This was Myron Amy Jr. If you're going to defend, you have to make them towards the action. Turns his head up, under. Easy finish. Big time move by Mr. Strong. And sometimes when you get beat, the first thing you want to do is try to get it back right away. That's what happened with Myron Amy Jr. on that possession. Almost took out one of his own teammates. That was Cartier with that foul. That's his first. Three quick team fouls on Colorado State. And I believe Amy stepped out of bounds. I like the matchup. You put Neat Clifford, who's long, quick laterally. Put him on Myron Amy, make it a little bit more difficult for him. You'll see, too, any team coach Miles, coach Tim Miles, coaches they're not going to get out and pressure all that much unless it's designed to do that 
They want to make you play over the top. Not a ton of turnovers so far for Colorado State. Only four. And most of them have been a result of bad offense as opposed to San Jose State really getting out and pressuring the ball. Vern Harris called that on the floor. That's on Gorner. That's three. Clifford over to Stevens. And he just couldn't get it to creep over the rim. 9-22 campaign for San Jose State coming off of a 21-win season a year ago. That was their first 20-win season since the 80s. Led by Omari Moore, that group went to the CBI. They won a game in the postseason. But graduation and transfers got the best of San Jose State this season. And in a rebuilding campaign, they come in as the 10th seed in this tournament. And injuries have been a big thing, too, for Tim Miles and his crew. Some things you can't control. But what you can control is effort on the offensive glass. Trey Anderson knows how to do that. South Carolina transfer, played for Frank Martin. We talk about a coach who coaches effort. Frank Martin certainly does that. He's brought it to San Jose State. And Scott and Anderson got tied up underneath the basket. They're going to call the foul on Anderson. It'll stay at this end with Colorado State. Second on and well, this is a common foul. Yeah, it's six seven and two twenty five. Wow. But they're gonna they're gonna stay with the common foul. The officials and I think they're the officials are going both ways. So yeah. they think Scott that Scott held as did Anderson. So moot point will play on. Third foul on Trey Anderson. Scott from Strong. Got it back. Cartier got a hand on it. Gorner secures the basketball. I really like the lineup defensively for San Jose State. Between Satius, Anderson, and Gorner, all big, 6'7 to 6'9, and they're switchable. So whenever you have a 3 5 ball screen, all you do is switch it, and then you don't have to lose positioning in a help situation. San Jose State has gone eight deep in this game. Lack of depth, one of their big challenges this year. Shot clock, and it's dying oh. moments. The reverse from Cardenas, but they didn't get it off in time. Shot clock violation. Colorado State ball up three. Day late and a dollar short, but Cardenas. Still making, a great look uh, from Cardenas. Man, uh, picking it up off the bounce with his left hand. High level of skill just to get it there. Stevens has six points, six assists. But CSU just two of ten from behind the arc in this game. See if they can get going from three-point land in this second half. Good cut by Lake. Clifford couldn't find him. And good ball pressure. Cardenas making things difficult on the perimeter to even see some of these open looks. Good defensive possession. Stevens whips it. Strong a three. And back-to-back -back shot clock violations. They won't whistle this one dead. It got into the hands of Amy in time. But a couple of choppy possessions here coming out of the timeout. I mean, this is scout team defense by both units. Doing a good job communicating, talking switches. And then you have to make a play in isolation. Boy, Amy got caught in the phone booth. Gets knocked out of bounds. They'll say it was last touched by CSU. Spartans will inbound three on the shot clock. And Amy, you need to make up your mind to dribble earlier. You get stuck down there with three guys on you. It's hard to get rid of the basketball. Stolen by Clifford. Out on the run. Got it to Lake. Drive and kick over to Stevens. Steps inside the arc. Whips it inside. Cartier catches and drops it in. There's peripheral vision, and then there's Isaiah Stevens' vision. And those are not the same thing. He just sees everything, a play and a half ahead. Got Neat Clifford on the reach in there, his third. And Lake, that's a nice drive, creating a closeout. But the play is not over. He wanted to shoot that basketball, but he's so good at seeing things develop that even when he raises the ball up over his head, he doesn't have to let it go. He can find a guy for an easy layup. Nice play. Yeah, they got it into Anderson. Seven assists now for Stevens. That's right at his season average. He is sixth in the country 
in assists per contest. Palmer had the hot hand of the first half. Lost it, got it back. Wow. And Strong threw it. A little low and outside for Isaiah Stevenson just, into the scorer's table. Just a bit outside. <laughs> <laughs> Was that correct? And here's the thing. It, when a team is playing good defensively, or well defensively, that's terrible grammar on my part, but when they're playing well defensively, you have to take the first best shot. And Headband Joe had a look on the right 45, and he over-penetrated. You need to go ahead and let that shot fly, or else your offense isn't going to work. Ask uh, him. Gorner off the catch. <laughs> We're tied back up at 38. Hey, Tibet Gorner is a nice player, and he knows his role. It's such a big factor in college basketball when you have guys who know who they are. He's not going to try to create too much. Wow, what a pass. How many times have I said that today? But Amy steals it away from Bemba. And that was Bemba bringing the ball down when he didn't need to. All right, now settle down. Set your offense, and Cardenas can get you something. Cardenas tried to get downhill, hit the deck. Tim CS Miles working the refs. Yeah. And there, there was a lot of contact, but I just think Cardenas just lost his footing. And you're a junior now. You have to understand pace of play, how this game's going. Pull that ball out a little bit closer to half court. Give yourself some space to operate. 437 career wins for Tim Miles. And Bemba stepped on the end line as he couldn't quite make a clean catch on that entry pass. He's catched the ball with two hands. Three turnovers in the last minute and a half for Colorado State. And Gorner is coming up to set a ghost screen. He needs to sell it a little bit closer. Amy, a three, rattles off. Palmer goes and gets it. San Jose State has not led since 5-13 left in the first half. Tight game in the Mountain West tournament. We already had one today. Strong got it back from Stevens. Back iron, no good. Three-point woes continue for the Rams. He's Davis. a train. Boy, he hits the gas. It was knocked out of bounds. It was last touched by Anderson. And, and that's one you probably need to pull out. I, I understand what Latrell Davis is. He, he's a downhill guy in transition. But when you see three bodies in front of you, pull that out and try to find some good offense in the half court. Davis from Leeds, Great Britain. A phenomenal athlete. Steven steps inside the arc. Bemba, the stick back, no, got it again, and he got hit. And we got a timeout on the floor with 11.51 to go. Colorado State 38, San Jose State 38. On the Arizona to San Jose State and is a terrific three-point shooter. All-time leader, San Jose State history in three-pointers made. He's now up to 86 on the year. Stevens off the inbound, buries it. Third triple of this game for Colorado State. K-I-S-S, -S. keep it simple, sir. Isaiah Stevens so relaxed when taking that shot. That's a foul. Gorner, ball reversal to Davis. Pump fake, goes up. Wow. Gets to the cup and lays it in. Not typically what he does, but you hit a couple. You can raise up the defense off their feet, and Gorner, smooth lefty finish in the lane. Effective use of the shot fake. Stevens got it back from Bemba. Strong in trouble in the corner. Bemba's got to go to work, and he got hit on the arm. Amy came up behind him, and we heard that one from here. And, and Bemba needs to do a better job of understanding where the defense is at. You need to ball fake out to that corner 
and let that defender, he has to stay with his guy, and then you can make a move, but you can't make something towards the middle, turning your back to where the help side defense is. That's something as he gets older, he's going to be better with. Bemba goes out. Scott gets to the rim. Finishes with contact. He'll go to the line. That's a big man move. But as far as that one's concerned, this, sir, is a grown man move. Joel Scott. 17 minutes of action today. Joel Scott, eight points, four rebounds. He's listed at 225. I... I'm not sure what diet he was on before the season. He's not 225. He is a whole lot of muscle at the five at the five spot. 30 of Colorado State's 44 points have come inside the paint. The physicality of the Rams on display here. Cardenas has space. Way off the mark, but a long rebound. Cardenas gets it himself. Davis, he'll take that three. He'll make that three. <laughs> it's the first three he's made in the last four games. He's able to do that. That really opens up the floor for the Spartans. Latrell Davis now with seven. Stevens doubled, finds Palmer. Scott on the baseline, back outside Palmer. Third triple of the game for Joe Palmer. Headband Joe. Grandma's watching him make it rain from three. But that goes back to what we were talking about earlier, Nate. It, your first best shot. There's a time earlier in this half, he over-penetrates as opposed to taking the open ones. Capable shooter. Let it fly. The floater from Amy. Good touch. Palmer got a hand on it, and it is tipped and out of bounds. It'll be San Jose State ball. See Colorado State continuing to move this basketball. And Joel Scott just Everybody got two quarterfinal matchups set. Fresno State advancing with a four point win over Wyoming, a slight upset earlier today. They'll have Utah State, and then the four five matchup, we've known that one. UNLV and San Diego State. That one's going to be a party here tomorrow with the Thomas and Mack. Out of the timeout, Palmer blocked Goriner. What a play. Headband Joe. We're talking about a guy who's making an impact today. Started on the defensive end, and the offense just seemed to follow. Great pass. Whips it to the corner. Three ball on the way. That's short. Sacious tips it around, and Cardenas comes away with it. CSU now just 4 15 from behind the arc. Davis on the baseline. And he laid it in. Latrell Davis. The speed, the burst, and the finish. And sometimes going up on the same side just keeps the defense off balance. Nice finish. And Palmer got fouled by Satius. I like what Satius did right there. Understood he was beaten. I'm not going to give them an easy look. That's a good part about only having two fouls, too, heading into the last 10 minutes of this game. You know, understands the circumstance of what he's capable of do. Obviously, you don't want to give somebody free throws, but probably giving up an easy two if you let him go. Speaking of the foul situation, Clifford back. He had been sitting with three. 8.43 to go. Baller misses the front end of the one and one with CSU in the bonus. Two point game. Opportunity here for the Spartans. They're looking for the upset here in Vegas. Scott steps out on Cardenas. Amy goes to work on Stevens. Pull up. Stevens, good contest. Left it way short. Stevens gave him no space. And here's the thing. Myron Amy has done a great job when he's been aggressive and trying to get downhill. When he settled a little bit, it's when his game is stalled just slightly. He needs to continue to try to get to the cup. Palmer has room again. Joe Palmer, four of four.
from behind the arc. He can't miss. It's just simple basketball. Finding spots on the floor where you can be successful. Scott contests Cardenas, who answers. Needed that one. Offense had stalled a little bit, struggling to knock down shots from the perimeter. And now Palmer's going to have an extra opportunity if he's patient. They whip it inside to oh. Scott. And a strong move to the cup. He got fouled. A chance at a three-point play. Big CSU time move. and San Jose State trading punches. Up here today between Tim Miles and Nico Medved. Medved, a assistant on Miles staff at CSU from 2007 to 2013. And it's Medved's program now. And he's got his old boss, Tim Miles, back in the conference at San Jose State. His third season with this program. Scott, the three-point play. He'll go take his seat. Five-point lead for CSU. Colorado State showing an extended 2-3. Watch for a couple of passes and out. So two passes triggers back to man-to-man, -man, which gets you out of your zone offense, and now you're going to have to make a play. Trell Davis can certainly do that. Yeah, and he went up and shot it right over Jamie Jackson. A lot of people, you see, they'll play zone for just two passes, and then they're back into man-to-man. -man. And what that does, it forces you to make one-on-one -on -one decisions. Big-time move, Latrell Davis. Ball kicked out of bounds. Stevens trying to find Cartier on the pick and roll. Reset shot clock, 20 seconds, 6.39 to go. Spartans staying right with Colorado State here today. Good look, Jackson Palmer, heat check, not that time. First missed three today from Joe Palmer. He's got a season high 14 points. Cardenas gets down wow. the hill and shows the touch with the left. Jackson catches, drives baseline, and the whistle, the foul was on the floor. What a, what a play by Alvaro Cardenas. Uh, his ability to use the ball screen. He gets his hip on Neat Clifford, and you're going to be able to see this extension out. That last step right there and the extended follow-through with the left hand. I mean, we talk about high skill level all the time, whether the, how the game's going, what have you. That, that's the European influence, the Spanish influence, attacking, finishing high off the glass with that left hand. Jackson makes the front end of the one and one. Cardenas stuffing the stat sheet today. He has 16 points, nine rebounds, his five assists, and a steal. Jackson one of two. The Cartier volleyballs it back out to midcourt and another opportunity now for CSU. Six-minute mark, Clifford, pump fake, kicks. Jackson back to Scott. They got to get something quickly. Jackson's going to need to fire. He doesn't, and a shot clock violation. The shot was Jackson in the corner, and he passed up on it. And Patrick Cartier should have taken that shot, knowing the clock was running down. Puts everybody in a difficult spot. We got a time. And here they are, the number one seed in the Mountain West Conference Tournament. Utah State will see them in action tomorrow. Their first game of the tournament against Fresno State, who won earlier today here on the Mountain West Network. Knocked off Wyoming. This is the second of three first-round games here today. And then we'll have the women's championship tonight here at the Thomas & Mack, UNLV, and San Diego State. What a feed. Amy finds Davis on the cut. I love that after timeout set by Tim Miles. Get your best two athletes driving hard to the cup. And getting Amy where he's most comfortable gets seal. And Scott had the position, turns and hammers it down. Hammers it? Hammers it. I didn't think that was a dunk. I thought it was a dink. <laughs> hey, he got his fingertips over that one. Talking it up with two hands. <laughs> now, good seal, terrific screen. And one of the things, too, whenever you're setting a cross screen, a lot of players, they try to float towards the ball. Not Scott, who maintained his deep post position. Cardine is calling for a screen. He's going to have to do it himself. Come Tough on. shot, and he got it. 
A little sauce from the Spaniard. 18 for Cardenas. Cartier, the answer. And San Jose State can take the lead. Good job by Davis. Slow down the tempo. And this guard combo for San Jose State's playing well. They are fun to watch. Lake almost had the steal. To go back out to Amy. Cardenas to Amy, a three. Front iron. I'm curious to know if Amy's a little tired. Wow, good pass. Stevens, Cartier. I think I've said wow like five times, and I want to apologize to everybody listening. I need to come up with something different. But my man Isaiah Stevens is that kind of playmaker. Patrick Cartier understands that too, runs with him, understanding, hey, if I just rim run, something positive is going to happen. And Isaiah Stevens rewards you every single time. That should be goaltending. Wow, Davis elevated, and Tim Miles is beside himself. And, and the officials missed this call. Whenever you grab the net, it's goaltending. That's basket interference. And he attacked for that sole purpose. He saw Cartier running about when he caught the ball on the right 45. Cartier running right down the middle. He didn't have numbers. He knew he wasn't going to finish. But what he did know was I could draw them all together and create that easy look. CSU is in the double bonus. Clifford misses the first. Third team all Mountain West. Neat Clifford. 13 points and 7 rebounds. A 16% improvement in his shooting efficiency year over year from last year in Boulder to this year in Fort Collins. Amazing what a little confidence will do for a young player. Cardenas has been great today for San Jose State. Davis backs out. Amy got a step. Wow. Had it swatted by Clifford. What an athletic play by Neat Clifford. Help side, shot blocking. That's where you're going to get your block attempts when you're that kind of athlete. And here San Jose State is back to that 1 3 1. Look for Joel Scott to post up that bottom man. Scott couldn't find Clifford on the cut. He'll go back to Stevens. It's a one possession game, under three to go. The cut to Scott, and that time, that's the nail gun. That's the dunk. <laughs> that's a dunk. But you'll notice they start the offense on the right side of the floor, goes left corner, back to the right side. What a play. Wow. He got, he got, he got away, away with the it. travel. And a whistle on the foul is on the floor. They called that on Jalen Lake. And Neat Clifford. Help side shot blocking. You talk about the elephant. Fresno State getting a win earlier. Now San Jose State very much in this ball game with 2.13 to play. And there's talent on those teams. So the Mountain West Conference, by and large, top to bottom, is the most competitive league in college basketball. Amy, a step back off the inbound. Got it. Two-point game. Sixth assist for Cardenas. Now back to a 1-3-1. The opposite elbows where you're going to find that middle guy. Lake at the nail. Bingo. A lot of times when you attack a zone, Nate, people want to go two ball side. Against a 1-3-1, it has to be the opposite elbow from where the ball's at. And Lake able to find exactly that spot. Two possession game, 90 seconds. Lake stays in front of Cardenas. Amy got the step on Scott, but it rolls off. And Isaiah Stevens walks it up the floor. San Jose State goes back to the zone. Clifford, corner three, nails it. 
Seven point game, one minute to go. And you want a microcosm of what Colorado State is? Look at that possession right there. Two guys had pretty good, pretty good looks at the basket, Nate, but it kept moving. They passed up one right here. Lake had the shot, no. And then that extra one to the corner gets Neat Clifford wide open. And he shot that ball well this season, right at 40% from three. That's money in the bank. And that's assist number 10 for Isaiah Stevens. He is a point shy of a double-double right now with nine points on the game. Joel Scott leading Colorado State with 16. Joe Palmer, 14 today off the bench, a season high. A Colorado State career high for Joe Palmer. Davis makes the first. So what is... And if you're Colorado State right now, and I, I knew you're, where you're going with that, but it, you need to communicate immediately that you're going to be facing pressure. Get to your spots for your press break and get it to Isaiah Stevens. You have to know these things are coming. So now, ball slows down. San Jose State throws the next person. Good timeout call by Nico Medved to organize his guys and get them in the position to break. But they have done their damage inside the paint today. 40 of their 66 points from inside the paint. Clifford will inbound. Right now, get it to the far side of the floor if you can. Oh, they went long! The bomb and the finish! Clifford to Strong! Oh, no. What, what a catch. Hey, and you knew they were going to be top-heavy. You send a guy long. That'll all but do it. Gorner, corner three. Stevens a rebound on the weak side, and he's quickly fouled. And the Colorado State faithful can sense it. 38.7 to go. Isaiah Stevens will march his way to the stripe. He'll shoot two. Isaiah Stevens, first team all Mountain West, the first player in Mountain West history to earn all conference honors five times. He was the freshman of the year in this conference. He was honorable mention his second year. He was second team all conference and now back to back first team all conference years. The second leading scorer in the history of the Mountain West trailing only the great Jimmer Fredette of BYU. Sometimes the grass isn't greener on the other side. Good for Isaiah Stevens because here would have been a line around the block for his services. But he trusts Nico Medved and what they do at Colorado State. And a double-double with 11 points and 10 rebounds. Amy got it to Davis on the cut. I think Clifford got a piece of it. I thought the ball hit the backboard. And, and Tim Miles beside himself. It's and, not the first time we've said no, that in the second what I'm saying. half. There's been two possessions just like this one. That was a little quick. I couldn't see, but... Uh, I thought that should have been two points. The first one certainly should have been. Yes. That was Clifford's hand getting tangled with the net. That was a few moments ago. I like what Latrell Davis brings to this team. I mean, not the most dynamic guy from a skill perspective, but he gets it in transition. He's off to the races, and he's a pretty good cutter away from the ball. Quality third piece to go along with those other guards. Yeah, 15 points on the game today, and, you know, he's a guy that needs to get the work in the offseason. The athleticism, no doubt. Miles loves his aggression, just needs to play a little bit more in control. He was good today. CSU gets it in, and Scott got fouled before he could get it away to Stevens. Talk about a game that's been played completely in the paint. I mean, Colorado State didn't shoot a great ball. A six of 19 from three. Everything they had was inside around 10 to 12 feet. And a lot of that, the result of Isaiah Stevens, 10 assists, just lingering in that painted area because, quite frankly, you can't stay in front of him. Seven straight game and double figures for Joel Scott. 
He has come on strong down the stretch here in this season for CSU. 17 points on seven field goal attempts today. Tack on six rebounds and a couple assists in 26 minutes. The transfer from Black Hills State, Monument, Colorado zone in his first year at CSU. That one goes up over the backboard. And a 10-point game with 18.2 left. And Tim Miles waves his team back. Trey Anderson comes out and gives the coaching staff a hug on his way to the bench. Anderson, three years at San Jose State, a good career, scored in double figures 16 times this season. And he finishes with four points, but Colorado State and Isaiah Stevens will dribble it out and dribble their way to the quarterfinals. A date and a rematch with Nevada tomorrow after an infamous finish in Fort Collins a few weeks ago. Your final score, 72-62.